Oh, ah. What's going on, of course? Welcome back to Watch It With McQueen special. Okay? Why is it special, you ask? Oh, my God, because we got a very controversial video here today. Okay? On this Friday. Now, I hope you guys are having an excellent Friday, man. Make sure you guys hit the gym. Do not skip the gym today because most people are going to. All right? If you want to be a part of the top echelons of men, of people in general, okay, in the world, you got to do things when people don't want to do them. All right? The days where you don't want to do things are the most important days, and those are the exact days when you are supposed to do them. All right? Because every single other person on the planet, most of them, are not going to do what they're supposed to do on the days when they don't feel like it, okay? So you be the person who does, because it's going to inevitably put you ahead of all the other losers and lazy-ass people, all right? That's where you want to be. Now, I digress, okay? We have an interesting video here today, man. I don't know if you guys know who Joe Smith is, man, but he was a, you know, uh, I think he was a top pick in the NBA, uh, I think like in the early 90s. I don't know. I'm not sure, okay? Uh, but I think he was a bust. I think he got injured, okay? And I think he made like $60 million in his career or like some something like that. $6 million or $60 million, something like that, okay? And then he married a, you know, ex-star, all right? Why is that important, okay? Because, listen to me, if you dare to do something as stupid as marrying a P-star, okay, you should expect her to do something like this at some point. Ex-NBA player Joe Smith finds out his wife has an OF. You should have seen this coming, okay? Boy, you got 60 million. You made 60 million, okay? You was a top NBA prospect, all right? Or top NBA pick. And you messed around and, 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 and married a P-star? Why would you do that? Out of all the options you got as a high-value man, you going to choose this fooder as your wife? Like, I don't even blame her at this point. You feel me? You should have never, listen to me, man. Gilly the King, he had said something that really made, it just really spoke to my soul, man, okay? You got the pump and dumps, and then you got the girls that are actually worthy of your time, your respect, and your resources, okay? We all know when we see a pump and dump, but the problem is a lot of these dudes, they hit the pump and dump, they fall in love with the coochie, and then they try to wife the pump and dump. And then when the pump and dump, there's something that the pump and dumps do. Y'all acting brand new. Acting like you surprised. Oh my God, I can't believe she did some pump and dump stuff. They're called a pump and dump for a reason. You supposed to pump them and dump them. And that's it. Believe me, I've learned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Believe me, I've been through the, I tried to wipe the pump and dumps in the past and oh my God, was I in for a crazy, 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 future with that pump and dump okay and i learned a lot from them pump and dumps they taught me a lot what i learned is what i'm trying to tell y'all right now man do not be this guy right here 90 percent of these girls now especially nowadays is pump and dumps knock them down to get them out the way okay focus on yourself put yourself first okay with all that being said man let's go ahead and see what the hell happened this is stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got a fans page. Out of all these years, bro, the disrespect that comes with it that you couldn't even talk to me before you did it. That's bullshit, bro. She's That's sitting there drinking. First of all, why is she recording this? Look at this old hat, man. Look at it. Look at her, bro. Look at this old bag, bro. Why she? Oh, she out here recording. My boy got to put some lotion on his on his. Uh, he got to put some lotion on his ankles, bro. He, that, that look like my pops ankles, bro. Why, <laughs> why all the all the old black dudes always just leave their feet and, and just knees and elbows just ashy as hell, bro? Why do y'all do that? Anyways, that's besides the point. This old bag is gonna pull out her phone when the dude's not looking, and she recorded sipping her drink. Okay, this is insane. But like I said, this is all his fault, bro. Okay, you, you, you gotta choose wisely, man. Hey. Wait, no, no, cop, but you're not gonna say f me or f that's f up. It's not f up. She's recording you, what the fuck are you doing? You didn't like right. Listen. She recording you, fool. She recording you. She recording you. She's doing what Pump and Dumps do. Trying to, trying to turn it on you. But it's your fault, Joe Smith. It's not f up. And we're going to. Okay, look, so. I. 
Disrespect have the OnlyFans page, and he's mad because yo old ass, who is subscribing to this old bags OnlyFans? What do you want to see from this? What do y'all simps want to see from this? I digress, man. Okay. That's up. It's not up. Listen, it's not up, and we're going to. Okay, look. So. I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad if you just find out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my choice? Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit, and you're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no solution. You knew who the f*** I was when you met me. Before. That right there, that part right there. Ain't that, ain't that a goddamn bitch? Ain't that about a bee, man? Oh my gosh. These females would do the most trifling stuff and then just sit there and be like, man, I've been here, bro. They will sit there and do the most trifling stuff and then sit there and put it on you. They'll do the trifling, you knew who I was when you met me. You shouldn't have dated me. But if I didn't date you, if I was to tell you straight to your face, listen to me, I think you a bot. We're done. You are insecure. Why would you date me if you wouldn't go set me for who I was? But you gonna sit here and say that? You knew who I was when I, when things ain't going your way, you knew who I was. That is crazy, fool. Listen to me, Aqua Force. I really do care about y'all, all right? And I want you guys to understand, bro. Okay, in this day and age, a lot of people are gonna call you insecure. A lot of people gonna sit there and say, who hurt you? Okay, listen to me, the world is a cruel place, okay? Everyone is hurt. Everyone is hurt. But that doesn't mean you have to sit there and just be a hateful person or carry hate around. You don't have to do that, okay? Make sure you heal yourself from all the hurt that you've been, you know what I'm saying? But learn from it, okay? If you walk down the street and you, you know what I'm saying? You walking in and your ankle fall in a pothole and you break your ankle, God forbid, okay? Are you gonna walk down that same street and hit that same pothole? No! You walking down the street, you're gonna make sure you avoid that pothole. You're gonna tell everybody else that you care about. Hey, make sure you don't walk down that street and watch. If you do walk down that street, avoid that pothole because I went in there and I messed my ankle up, okay? And then imagine some person coming to you and being like, oh, you look, you just hurt. Who hurts you? What, what sidewalk hurts you? This is life. What are you talking about? We make mistakes and we learn. Okay? It's crazy. It's so hilarious when people tell who hurt you. Okay, so anyways, man, make sure you guys have enough respect for yourself to see when all this is going on and do not ignore the red flags, man. Don't allow the manipulation tactics to get y'all, okay? These girls will manipulate you, bro. And females, the same thing. Same thing with y'all. If you see a man that is manipulating you, get the hell out of here, okay? Do not ignore the red flags. What does Shanti say? All the things that we accept, be the things that we regret. That's true. The things that you ignore end up being the things that crumble the relationship in the long run, okay? Do not ignore the red flags, they're there for a reason, all right? Trust the intuition, because you gonna be the one looking stupid when you, you know what I'm saying, when stuff hit the fan, and you're going to be sitting there trying to look at look at his face. That's how you're going to look. All right? I've been there. <laughs> before, before. Before, yeah. Before, before, yeah, I, knew I that. thought that I would never have to go yeah, back to anything yeah, like this again. But unfortunately, no, no, no. that's not the case but right after now. That, after that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, no, no. No, no, no. Obviously, it hasn't. No, it had to. I had Obviously, to do something. It hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the f Come on, Keith, with that. It, it don't matter what they break you off. It's the Hold disrespect. On. You got mad jobs. You dating a, a multi-millionaire and you got mad jobs, but you talking about, oh, I'm at OnlyFans. You don't got mad jobs. Shut your weird ass up. You ain't got no damn job, bro. You just got to explain how OnlyFans be breaking you off. So that's your main income. What other jobs you got? It's crazy, but these girls just be, oh my God. She old as hell, still acting like a young bopper. 
Thing that comes with it. What you disrespect? You couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Can I have so, to find out on the fly? All right, then, but now, okay. No, so, wait. I have to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. He said, yeah, now I know. <laughs> It's like a Tubi movie, you know? I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to question the authenticity of this situation, okay? I don't know if this is actually, he said, yeah, now I know. <laughs> it's like Tyrese and Baby Boy or something. You feel me? That's funny. That's funny. If this is real, man, listen, even if it's not real, there's still something to take away from this. Because this actually happens. It's happened to me. All right, make sure everything I said in this video, you guys take it very seriously. It's not a joke, all right? These boppers will get you. Okay. And so? Whatever. I'm been doing what I have to do, period. Like, that's bottom line. Yeah. That's what it is. If this is actually real, and she gonna sit there and say all that. But if he decided to divorce her, now she gonna take half of his money and all that, too. I gotta do what I gotta do. Man. I digress, okay? You guys get the point, man. Like I said, listen to everything I said in the video, all right? Listen, take the advice. Don't be ignorant. Don't be arrogant. Do not be hard-headed, all right? Because one day, if you do not listen to me, you're gonna, you're gonna think back and remember, damn, a queen told me. He told me. It ain't gonna be nobody's fault but yours, all right? But sometimes life gotta kick y'all in the ass for y'all to really get it, man. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's it, man. Make sure you guys like and make sure you guys subscribe.